Honestly, there wasn't a weak spot. They've improved a lot. We didn't have any quarter to center back, center to quarterback snap exchange fumbles or anything like that. And we also improved a lot, I thought, in the defensive backfield on our pass coverage. So a lot of good things for the Indians this year. Well, I thank our sponsors tonight, all our sponsors. We've got our title sponsor, Farmers Bank. Our pregame sponsor, Richie's Drugstore in Erie, Kansas. Go visit Kyle Morgan Button over there at Erie, Kansas, and get all your pharmacy needs. So glad to have everybody on board, especially Richie's, for our pregame sponsorship. Yeah, St. Paul kind of coming off of a lot of ups and downs. They moved the ball up and down the field last week. Thought they looked pretty good offensively, but every time they'd get into the red zone, uh, seems like we had one thing I know they want to clean up is uh, had quite a few holding penalties when in critical situations, especially on first down. Yeah, the penalties really was what was St. Paul's biggest problem last week. They had eight. Let's see, yeah, they had eight penalties. And a couple of those were really costly times for St. Paul. So the nice thing about it is they had our player of the game, if you remember, was, uh, well, my player of the game, and I think you agreed with me, yeah. Brendan Doherty. Brendan Doherty, the big receiver for the St. Paul Indians this year, has come out, not played much varsity football. Matter of fact, I don't think he's played any varsity football in high school, played some in junior high, had over 150 yards. I think he had 180 yards receiving last week. So good job by Brendan. We'll look for him to be really a valuable player as we move through the season. Overall, nice ball game put together by Braven Bourne there at the quarterback. Yep. Uh, he shared a lot of time with Noah Winter, so it's not like he hasn't been under center much for the Indians. He had last year under quite a bit. Uh, Braven probably a little bit more versatile offensive player for the Indians, be able to pass and run both. Adam Albertini, Keaton Kennedy, and Colin Carlson all had a real good game on the ground for the Indians and look for the Indians to be real physical tonight. Well, we're going to be back after this one-minute timeout. Our pregame sponsor is Richie Drugstore there in Erie, Kansas. You're listening to St. Paul Indian Football on Hot 105. Farmers Bank is a full-service bank with small-town personal attention. They know you by name and are always glad to help you out. Offering 24-hour ATM and free banking locations in St. Paul, Walnut, and Hepler, Farmers Bank, member FDIC, is proud to help support the success that a small community can achieve with teamwork and determination. Richie's Drugstore in Erie has been serving the area since 1883 with a strong belief in providing customized care and doing more than just filling prescriptions. Pharmacist Morgan Bunton is now taking appointments for free consultations and sign-up assistance for Medicare Supplement Part D plans that fit your needs. Open enrollment begins October 15th and ends December 7th. Even if you're in a current plan, let Richie's help you determine if there's a better plan to cover your unique needs and prescriptions. Call, click, or stop by Richie's today. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. Hello, welcome back to Miles Field here in St. Paul. We've got about 10 minutes until kickoff here. Free game sponsor, Richie Drugstore, title sponsor, Farmers Bank. We're getting ready for kickoff and sponsor our kickoff. The sponsor tonight is Styles Fitness and more here in St. Paul, Kansas. What do you look for tonight, Mike? Well, one of the things we'll be watching for tonight, I think, Dan, is uh, really stepping up performance by the senior-led team led by Anthony Albertini, the big lineman. He's the biggest kid on the St. Paul roster this year and really was valuable on the inside. Didn't hear his name called a lot last week at Pleasanton, but he was really a lot of help up front opening some holes for his little brother Adam for out of the backfield, also for Bourne and the other running backs. So we'll be watching for Anthony to shine tonight on offense and on defense. He's doing a lot of work on defense on that defensive line. Along with him is his senior partner there is Kobe Spielbush on the inside. Both Anthony and Kobe were last year's first team all-league and all-district players, so uh, Coach Watcher could really be relying on both of those guys to not only anchor the line but provide a lot of senior leadership. And speaking of senior leadership, you've got Braven Bourne, who we talked about earlier. He's driving the bus from the quarterback position. Had a great week last week. I think he had 155, no, I'll take that back, 186 yards passing last week, and he also ran for about 45. So a lot of offensive production from Braven. He had a nice defensive play in the defensive backfield, broke up one of the deep passes that Pleasanton threw and, and really had a chance of scoring. But Braven was able to knock that one down. In addition to those guys, you know, the uh, receivers that they've got in their backfield has also included junior Colin Carlson and Keaton Kennedy, who really stepped up and, and are starting to shine and come into their own in the, in the offensive backfield for St. Paul. I want to make sure we get out there right. We're going to try to get this out several times tonight. That Next week's game, Frankfurt coming to town, and due to the long travel distance, the game has been moved from 7 to 6 p.m. 
So now it is a 6 p.m. start time here at Miles Field in St. Paul for next Friday night's game. Again, that game has been moved. It was scheduled for 7, but has moved up to 6 p.m. for a start time. Yeah. I look for a good game, hard-fought game here tonight, Mike. Uh, Chautauqua, a little bit shorter on numbers in St. Paul. Maybe down a little bit, had a hard-fought loss at Marmonton Valley, I believe, last week. So we'll see how they rebound off of that here tonight. Defensively last week, I thought the Indians played pretty decent. Um the first quarter was probably their weak quarter, but that spread kind of threw them fit and all that motion, but they kind of settled in, and from this second quarter on, especially in that second half, they really locked things down. Yeah, I was really proud of the way the defensive ends for St. Paul played, and they adjusted good to that funky spread offense that Pleasanton ran. If you remember, they put both of their running backs out on the end of the offensive line with about a half a step behind the line of scrimmage and turned them tw- inside towards the quarterback. And then one or the other of them would go in motion or the receiver from outside would come across in motion and they can run a lot of different plays out of that formation. The Indians did a good job with adjusting to that. Our pregame sponsor here is Richie's Drugstore. We're going to take a two-minute timeout. National Anthem coming up. We'll have starting lineups when we come back. Here is the St. Paul Indian football on Hot 105. The Exchange State Bank is proud to be a member of the St. Paul community. The Exchange State Bank has served the area since 1914 and is committed to go the distance for you. A full-service bank, they offer savings, checking accounts, loan certificates of deposit, and more. They also offer competitive rates on loans and investments, all while giving you the kind of personal service you won't find at bigger institutions. Visit with Bob Conifer at Exchange State Bank in St. Paul, member FDIC, proud sponsor of the St. Paul Indians. Jerry and Kevin Winter, along with the entire crew at KW Trucking, are proud to bring you this broadcast of the St. Paul Indians. KW Trucking specializes in heavy equipment and heavy truck repair, late model rebuilding, and body work from large trucks down to cars. They also have a full-service machine shop and a great selection of both used cars and trucks. See Jerry or Kevin at KW Trucking or call 449-2763. Prairie Mission Retirement Village in St. Paul provides services to people in their retirement years. Prairie Mission meets a wide range of needs from health care to assisted living and independent living apartments to elderly daycare services, including transportation. With our 7 to 7 dining, residents get up when they desire, eat when and what they want, and continue to live a full and happy life. Your family deserves the best in retirement care, so give Prairie Mission Retirement Village a call today for more information at 620-449-2400 or visit them at 242 Carroll Street in St. Paul. Exchange Insurance Agency is a proud supporter of the St. Paul Indians. Give us a call, visit our website, or stop in to let us do the comparison shopping for you and get a free no-obligation quote. Offering all types of insurance, including auto, motorcycle, home, farm, crop, watercraft, life, and health. Medicare supplements, and all lines of commercial or business insurance. Serving the four-state area since 1964, Exchange Insurance in St. Paul is here to provide you with what you need, want, and should expect from your insurance agency. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. Number five. Welcome back here at Miles Field in St. Paul as we Number 21. Go over starting lineups here tonight for both teams. Zach Wolf, number one, starts for Chautauqua. A sophomore, Appleton, starts at quarterback. O'Brien, a senior, starts for the Hornets. Allison, a senior, starts for the Hornets. Vanetta, a junior, starts for the Hornets, as well as Duggan, a freshman. Garrison, a junior, and Cabry, a senior, are the eight starters for the Indians. And for the St. Paul Indians, number four, a 5'10", 160-pound senior, Caleb Pekka, a 5'9", sophomore, 155-pound running back, Adam Albertini. Number 15, Braven Bourne, a 5'11", 150-pound is your quarterback. Grant Hutcherson, number 33, a 6'1", 200-pound senior, starts for the Indians. As well as number 40, Hunter Pullman, 6'1", 175 senior, start at tight end. And Kobe Spillbush, 190-pound senior, will start at tight end, as well as Albertini will start at the tackle position, or guard position, excuse me, 250-pound senior, 6'2". I wanted the Spillbush and Albertini, all staters from last year, so a lot of solid on that line. But also the Indians, you know, you look at last 
week, Mike, against Pleasanton. And although last year you look, uh, the Indians went up or here at Pleasanton beat them 46 to nothing. You think, well, the Indians only beat them 32 to eight. Well, first game, a lot of holes to fill. You lose two tight ends, a quarterback, a all state running back, almost 2,000 yards worth of yeah. offense. It's going to take a few weeks to get running back up to speed. Plus, I think Pleasanton was much improved, much more physical than they was last year. So it was a real good, hard-fought football game. Yeah, that's one of the things we talked about in our pregame show up at Pleasanton was the losses that they had to fill. And I think St. Paul stepped up and really did a good job, especially in that first game of filling those gaps. It took them about a quarter, and it looked like they were getting right back into stride. Maybe not full stride yet, but enough to uh, get them past Pleasanton, get them in here for Chautauqua, hopefully come out of here with a win and move them into the third game at 2-0, we hope. We're getting ready to get set underway here in about two or three minutes. and. We're going to take another short time out and get everything set up here for kickoff. Our kickoff sponsor tonight will be Styles Fitness and More, our pregame sponsor. We're glad to Richie's Drugstore in Erie, Kansas. Thank them for being our pregame sponsor, and we're going to take a one-minute timeout. We'll be back with our kickoff after this one-minute timeout. It was St. Paul Indian Football on Hot 105. St. Paul Tire and Lube, locally owned and operated, offers the small town convenience you love without the big city prices. They offer free pickup and drop off in St. Paul, so you're not left stranded while your vehicle is in the shop. They offer tire repair and also offer oil change and new tires. When you find yourself in need of new tires or an oil change and need to keep going, visit with St. Paul Tire and Lube, 620-449-2323. St. Paul Tire and Lube, proud supporters of the St. Paul Indians. Farmers Bank is a full-service bank with small-town personal attention. They know you by name and are always glad to help you out. Offering 24-hour ATM and three banking locations in St. Paul, Walnut, and Hepler, Farmers Bank, member FDIC, is proud to help support the success that a small community can achieve with teamwork and determination. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. So welcome back to Miles Field. A beautiful night here, Mike. Probably about 80 degrees here at kickoff. Hardly a breath of air out. Flag standing pretty still. Field looks pretty decent tonight, Mike. So we'll look for a good game. Yeah, looking down at the grills out there at the end of the grills, not the girls, the grill down there where they're cooking the hamburgers and hot dogs. That smoke's going just almost straight up in the air. So you know, that tells you it's pretty still out here. Uh, it looks like St. Paul has won the toss and is elected to receive. So Chautauqua will start by kicking to the Indians. So the Indians win the coin toss and elect to receive. They do not defer to the second half. They'll take the football, see if they can get their offense running up at full speed here right off the get-go. So we're looking for a kickoff. Our kickoff sponsor tonight is Styles Fitness and more. Mike, I might have you help me out with, what is it, Alejandro? Yep. Alejandro. We call him Alex. Alex Mate. Alex Mate for short. See if Alex can get settled in here as we uh, exchange students. So we made uh, light of the situation that he changed it from round to a little oblong thing <laughs> to kick and did a yep. did a real good job. I think uh, by word I hear he's pretty nervous last week, first time on the football field. So we'll see what happens here, but he won't have to worry about it on the kickoff because we're going to be on kickoff return. He'll get a chance, but if the Indians score here, we'll, we'll see how it gets along. And we're getting set as the ball gets teed off on a beautiful night. What's your prediction, Mike? Uh, it looks like Keaton Kennedy and Adam Albertini back deep. They're going to have a little bit of a challenge because they're looking right into that evening sun here at the kickoff. It'll go away pretty quick, but right now they're looking right into it. So, Is that a prediction or observation? Well, I'm giving that observation, so I can give you my prediction. I think they're going to come out of it, and they may run this opening kickoff back, so I'm going to predict that Predict that for an opening kickoff return for a touchdown. Pretty bold. I hope you're right. Well, we'll see. Here we go. We're getting set as the ball is on the tee. Number 24, Veneta, is set to kick the ball off. See what it is, and here we are. It's an onside kick, short kick. Caleb Pecka bobbles it, falls on the ground, and they did not run it back. Mike Pugh was wrong. Caleb Pecka did get on the football. He bobbled it at first. The ball was loose, so the Indians will have great field position. They're going to start at the 33-yard line, first and 10 for the Indians from their own 33-yard line. You know what my second choice was, an onside kick. Yeah. (laughs) You would have been right. As the Indians come up to the football, Grant Hutcherson over the football. Born and into the neutral zone. There's a the flag. I was going to say, he bumped helmets with him, but no flag for a little bit as number one for the Hornets jump into the neutral zone is Wolf. Jumps into the neutral zone, so it'll be a five yard penalty against the Hornets. 
Bring up a first and five, so a good start for the Indians. Five yards, but still first down. Zero carries, zero passes, and five yards. Yeah, I've already got five yards. Hutcherson back up to the ball. Up under center is Bourne. Fullback Carlson. Tailback is Adam Albertini. Line is set. It's going to be a pass. Bourne back to pass. Rolling to his right. He's going to throw deep and wide open as Caleb Peckham. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hits him right in the fingertips. And it falls harmlessly to the turf, and Peckett was 10 yards behind all the defensive backs and is right on target. And hit him in a bad spot right in the hand. Well, hit him kind of right in the face. So yeah, credit, but he yeah. was over his shoulder, <laughs> born, ran the option to the right, rolled out to the right. Peckett came from the left tight end position, ran a little post pattern, and was wide open and just dropped it. Second and five, handoff this time to Albertini. Lots of running room, cuts to the outside, down to the 30, 25, 20, and he's going to score. Touchdown, Adam Albertini. Number 11, Adam Albertini on the carry. He's going to get in for an Indian touchdown. Albertini, way one good move, had one man to beat, and he did beat him and gets into the end zone. 45-yard touchdown run by Adam Albertini. 11, 44 left to go in the game, 6 to nothing. Indians lead. Extra point pending as Bourne comes in from the sideline with the play for the extra point. Hutcherson up to the line. Left guard is Pullman. Right guard is Adam or uh, Anthony Albertini. And this time it's a handoff to the right side to Keaton Kennedy. Puts the shoulder pad down and in to the end zone he goes for the extra point. It's good. So an early eight to nothing lead for the Indians with 11:44. Didn't take too long to get the first score for the Indians. No, that didn't take long at all. Look for a good ball game tonight. We want to make sure next Friday night, another home game. Make sure you come to that home game, but make sure you know, if you look at the schedule, the schedule, it has been changed from a 7 o'clock start time to a 6 o'clock start time. So if you show up at 7, you're going to miss part of a good game, we hope. As Frankfurt with a long travel time. Right? We remember that trip from last year. It was a long ways up there to Frankfurt. I don't blame him for wanting to get down here and get started a little early. It's a long ride home. Indians in the second year of a rotation, a little longer road trip with uh, Frankfurt, Axtell, and Madison. Is that correct, Mike? Yep. Yeah. Yep. All yeah, on the to, schedule. Go to Axtell this year, and Frankfurt yep. and Madison will be here. Yeah, both of them are home games, so that's that's a little bit nicer. And also, also Southern Coffee County, and it's not a short trip, but not horrible on there as well as Colony Crest. So. Alex gets the ball set up on the tee. Is our kickoff sponsor tonight is Styles Fitness and more. Hopefully the Indians have lots of kickoffs here in the first half as he gets the ball set up just right on that tee. Backs up, and we're getting ready to get set. Number two back deep for Chautauqua, and that is Reeves. Reese is a sophomore for Stopa. Alejandro ball and hit. Here it comes. It's a good kick this time into the end zone. It goes. He shook them nerves off that time. Yeah, I think he settled in, thinks this is all right. He's coming off pounding his chest. He's excited. <laughs> he made a pretty good tackle last <laughs> yeah, week. Well, Alejandro did sure on did. his kickoff. Pretty good kickoff return by Pleasanton. Saved a touchdown by Pleasanton on the sideline. It looks like he survived that well, so good. He's having a good time out here. We'll always enjoy them exchange students. Well, that's always fun to watch when they're here, especially if they haven't really been exposed to American football very much. They get out here and give it a shot, so I really like it. 11-44, left to go in the first quarter, 8 to nothing. Indians lead, score on their second play of the game. Adam Albertini with a, how long was that, Mike? 35. 45-yard run. High formation by the Hornets. And here comes the handoff to the left side, and the Indians swallow them up. Nowhere to go. And we'll see who gets off the stack here. The Wolf. O'Brien, the quarterback. O'Brien with the carry. Number five. Looks like O'Brien. no gain on the play. He's going to get stopped at the line of scrimmage. It'll no be, gain. It'll be second. And second down ten. and oh, 10. A ball set at the 15-yard line on the touchback by Alejandro. As the play comes in from the sideline, O'Brien comes in from the sideline, gets the play from Coach Bradshaw on the Stopa sidelines. Up to the line of scrimmage, the Hornets come. Pick number 60 at fullback is Cabry. And tailback, O'Brien this time fullback dive off the left-hand side. He's going to be swallowed up. Cabry drove backwards by a host of Indians off the left-hand side. I see Pullman in there. I see... Albertini getting off the bottom of the stack. 
I see Colin Carlson and Kobe Spielbush. Yeah, good play Ordering by the interior line there. That's just a wall inside of that. Avery with a one-yard carry. It's going to bring up third and nine for the Hornets. Clear down on the other end. I'm going to catch that tailback's number, Mike. Is it the net 24, I think, is the tailback. We'll see here. Yes, it is. Cabri comes up with fullback. This time, Vanetta splits wide to the right. Single back set is Cabri. O'Brien up under center for the Hornets. And the ball's on the ground, and O'Brien just dives on it. Bad snap. Center and quarterback exchange. Ball's on the ground. O'Brien just jumps on the football. It's going to bring up fourth and ten. He lost one. We'll push Topa in a punting situation, and back deep goes Adam Albertini. Good defensive stand there for the Indians. About zero yards on that drive. As Satopa host or hustles new guys in for the punt. And the snap is off and it's going to be a short kick. And Pekka, ooh, and almost hit Pekka. And Albertini takes it on the fly, comes to the left side. He's gonna cross get ankle tackle, nice one on one tackle. Number eleven by Veneta. Kind of dangerous out there. Need to communicate a little bit. Let him know get away from that ball. Sure well, I think Albertini was going to let it go, but I think he was afraid to hit Pekka. Yeah. Pekka was yeah. coming down on punt coverage, trying to get a block for Albertini, and the ball was short. And I'm not too sure if it grazed him or not on the way down. Always a dangerous situation. So I think just to, in case Adam Albertini went ahead and took it, although there was a Hornet about one yard from him. Walk to the right is Brendan Doherty. Shotgun formation is born. Set to his left is Adam Albertini. Doherty coming off of a great first game last week. Doherty comes in motion. Hand off to Albertini. Right hand side. Cuts to the outside. Got some room. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Adam Albertini. Two touches, two touchdowns for Adam Albertini. That's a pretty good, pretty good uh, streak there for Adam Albertini. Another 29 yards and another score. Uh, Bertini racking up some yards here early in the first four, first quarter. Not the fourth quarter, it's the first quarter. Pullman comes into the game. Albertini comes out. Bourne gets the extra point play, 14 to nothing, 9-21 left to go in the first. Somehow I get the feeling our kickoff sponsor is going to get their money. <laughs> <tonight, Mike. laughs> right. Yep, I think so. Kickoff sponsor is Styles Fitness and more. We'll see if the Indians may, with the foot of Alejandro, see if sometime tonight they line up for an extra point. You know, if they get out to a lead, that wouldn't be bad. But they give them a little practice. High formation on the extra point. Back to pass is born. Rolls to his right. He's got a man wide open. It's Kobe Spielbush. Good for the Indian extra point. And if I am correct, that is six for six on extra points this year. Yes, it is. Mike, and yep. that's, a, that's an excellent stat to have. If extra points are big in eight-man football. They sure are. They really hurt them the last couple of years on a couple of different games where they haven't been able to convert on some of those that are really important and sometimes made the difference in the game. So hopefully they've got that cleaned up. So far it looks like they do. 9-21, let's go. 16 to nothing is the early Indians lead. Indians decked out in their maroon jerseys with their gold numbers and Chitopa in the road white jerseys or white jersey and pants with green numbers, yellow helmets for the Hornets. A nice crowd on hand for the Indians tonight and for the Hornets. So a nice beautiful night here for football. Yeah, I got the punt, pass, and kick coming up here. I think it's halftime. So the little kids out there, see what they can do. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, Halftime is punt, pass, and kick, so everybody's excited about that. It's always good to have the kids down there. Knights Columbus put that on every year as Chautauqua huddle up on the sideline with Coach Bradshaw. Alejandro getting ready to tee the ball up for the Indians. Coach Bradshaw got a few more kids out this year. He was pretty short last year. I don't think they hardly had numbers even to play and did what they could. This year they got a few more kids out, so he's he's rebuilding things down there at Chautauqua. You know, they're not small by no, no stretch of the imagination. They've got some nice size on them. Alejandro has the ball teased up as he looks it over. Styles Fitness and more is our kickoff sponsor. Title sponsor is Farmers Bank. Pre-game sponsor was Richie's Drugstore there in Erie, Kansas. Alejandro has the ball set up. And it's a deep kick again. That ball kind of funny. It's going side over side and yeah. end over end, but either way, however it works, Alejandro is two for two into the end zone. That's a heck of a weapon in eight man football in itself. If you can have a touchback and never have to worry about a kickoff return. That's right. Keep it out of their hands and it gets you a long way. Shatopa with their second possession of the game, trying to 
see what they can get going here on offense. No yards on their first possession of the game, so see what they can get rolling here on their second offensive position with Cabry at fullback. O'Brien under center. And Vanetta at tailback. O'Brien. Snap is off. Fullback dive off the left side. This guy's got a little bit of room. <clears throat> Excuse me. Going to have about a yard, maybe two, on the carry. Get him out to the 16-yard line. Number 50, Lane Cabry on the carry. As they reset, 9.07. Let's go on the first. 16 to nothing. Indians lead. You watch O'Brien. He'll come up to the line of scrimmage there, and he'll watch that back judge and wait for him to start counting before he starts his snap count, trying to eat up, I think, as much clock as they can maybe here on offense. Second down, and call it eight for the Hornets. Split back formation this time. O'Brien up under center. Count is on. Here comes the snap. Ball's on the ground. Picks it up. Now he's going to be swallowed up as a gang tackle by the Indians. <laughs> he's going to have no gain on the play. It's going to bring up third down and nine for the Hornets. So far, that's two bad exchanges from the center to the quarterback for the horse. Yeah, they got Anthony Albertini playing in there at the nose guard position. He looks like he may be playing that A-gap just off of the center. and He's just shooting that gap, and really they're having trouble to get in that center quarterback exchange because Anthony's doing such a good job and so quick getting in there. He's so big and strong. He would be a handful to handle from the center position. Lined up, lined up right up. Nose up with the center, it looks like. High formation for the Hornets. Third down and nine. O'Brien up under center. Cabri at fullback. Back to pass is O'Brien. Looking, looking, looking. Got a man out to the right, and he catches it. Good stick by Albertini, but it's going to be a first down for the Hornets. On a nice pass and catch as number 25. Duggan comes up open from the left tight end position. So blown coverage by the Indians there. Give the Hornets a first down. First, first down, 11-yard gain for the Hornets. So a nice pass and catch for the Hornets. Get their offense going here. 748 up to go in the first. 16 to nothing. Indians lead. Second possession of the game for the Hornets. First, first down of the game for the Hornets. Up to the line of scrimmage they come. Split back formation. Cabri to the right. Vanetta to the left. O'Brien up under center. And here's the snap. He looks to the left, looking for some room, looking for some room, nowhere to go, and he's going to be swallowed up and tackled. Looks like Grant Hutcherson, Kobe Spoobush, Colin Carlson all come off the stack. No gain on the play. Maybe a half-yard gain on the play. Call it second and 10. 7-10 left to go so far, in the first quarter. So far, O'Brien's got four carries for zero yards. He's having some trouble getting moving there, but a lot of that's because he can't get out from behind the center. And his defense did an excellent job here so far to start of this game. Back into the I formation they go. Gabriel fullback, Manetta, tailback, O'Brien up under center. Here comes a snap. Pitch to the right, this side. Manetta looking for some brace, looking for space, and he's going to be swallowed up by that Indian defense. Good job by Hutcherson turning that play in. Spielbush, Carlson, and Pullman all get off the bottom of the stack. The thing you like to see, Mike, is they're not just one maroon jersey. No, they're swarm tackle. Pile. They're yep. swarm. Really gang tackle are the Indians. He's going to lose a half yard, so it's going to be third down and, and 10 for the, for the Hornets. 6.23 left to go in the first, 16 to nothing, early Indian lead. O'Brien comes in from the sideline with the play from Coach Bradshaw. Up to the line of scrimmage. They come. Veneta. Timeout. That's going to be a timeout. Timeout by Shatopa. So with that timeout, we'll take a one-minute timeout. You're with St. Paul Indian Football on Hot 105. Richie's Drug Store in Erie has been serving the area since 1883 with a strong belief in providing customized care and doing more than just filling prescriptions. Pharmacist Morgan Bunton is now taking appointments for free consultations and sign-up assistance for Medicare Supplement Part D plans that fit your needs. Open enrollment begins October 15th and ends December 7th. Even if you're in a current plan, let Richie's help you determine if there's a better plan to cover your unique needs and prescriptions. Call, click, or stop by Richie's today. The Exchange State Bank is proud to be a member of the St. Paul community. 
The Exchange State Bank has served the area since 1914 and is committed to go the distance for you. A full-service bank, they offer savings, checking accounts, loan certificates of deposit, and more. They also offer competitive rates on loans and investments, all while giving you the kind of personal service you won't find at bigger institutions. Visit with Bob Conifer at Exchange State Bank in St. Paul, member FDIC, proud sponsor of the St. Paul Indians. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports, Hot 105. Well, welcome back to Miles Field, third down and 10 for the Hornets. Big third down coming out of that timeout. St. Paul Supermarket, our timeout sponsor. Make sure you all your grocery needs, you go to the St. Paul Market. Single back set, split wide to the left. Oh, under pressure and going to be socked, swallowed up that time by Albertini and Grant Hutcherson. Nowhere to run for O'Brien that time. He's going to be sacked for a six-yard loss. Call it a seven-yard loss. Going to bring up fourth and ten. Ball now back at the 19-yard line. Excuse me, fourth and 17. Ball back at the 19-yard line. In coming formation is Appleton. Back deep is Albertini. 544 left to go in the first. Here's a snap. High snap under control. Hutchinson almost, almost got his hand in there on the football. Ball is going to bounce into Albertine's hand around the right hand side. He goes, cuts up the middle. 40, 35, 30. He's going to be wrapped up and tackled at the 30 yard line by Wolf. They. Good, smooth start for the Indians here tonight. Lead 16 to nothing. 530 left to go in the first quarter. Will start first, first and 10, ten. ball sets at the 28 yard line in Stopa territory. Bourne comes in from the sideline with the play. Hutcherson up over the football. Shotgun formation. Brendan Doherty split wide to the right. Single back set is Albertini. This time fakes the handoff, pass out to Doherty. He catches it around the right-hand side. He goes 10-5, touchdown, Brendan Doherty. 28 yards. 28 yards pass and catch. Brendan Doherty on the catch. Born to Doherty as Keaton Kennedy comes into the game for Doherty. 5-21, let's go in the first, 22 to nothing, Indians lead. Doherty. One for one on catches tonight. First reception tonight goes for a 28-yard touchdown. As he got around the right edge and then cut back to the center of the field and hustled into the end zone. 521 left to go in the first. 22 to nothing. Indians lead. Keaton Kennedy splits wide to the right. Shotgun formation is born. Set to his left is Albertini. Here's a snap. Rolls out to his right. Looking out there. Now he's going to Pitch it late to Kennedy, an extra point is good. Good pass and catch. More and probably had room to get to the right hand pylon, but Keaton Kennedy was wide open, so he kind of shot footed it out to Kennedy. Extra point is good. 24 right. nothing is the Indians' lead. We'll be back after this 30 second timeout. You're the St. Paul football on Hot 105. Jerry and Kevin Winter, along with the entire crew at KW Trucking, are proud to bring you this broadcast of the St. Paul Indians. KW Trucking specializes in heavy equipment and heavy truck repair, late model rebuilding, and body work from large trucks down to cars. They also have a full-service machine shop and a great selection of both used cars and trucks. See Jerry or Kevin at KW Trucking or call 449-2763. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports, Hot 105. So welcome back to Miles Field here in St. Paul, Kansas. Our timeout sponsor, St. Paul Market here in St. Paul, Kansas. All your supermarket needs. Hustle up to the store here in St. Paul. Wide selection. Alejandro is getting ready to tee the ball up for his fourth kick of the night. Kickoff sponsor style. Spitness and more. Getting our money's worth tonight, Mike. Sure are. St. Paul's run three offensive plays and scored on every one of them. So offense is rolling, defense is rolling. Shatopa is struggling on the other side of the field. That's a pretty good stat, isn't it? Yeah. Not very. Too many plays. I don't know doing better. Number two, Rees back deep for the Hornets. Alejandro has the ball teed up on the 30-yard line, and here comes the kick. 
Deep kick again. This time it goes over the head into the end zone. So he's three for three on touchbacks. Uh, the Indians tussle down there. Kick rolls into the end. Five twenty-one left to go in the first quarter. Twenty-four to nothing. Indians lead. It's interesting to watch uh, Alejandro, the kicker from last week. You could really tell the difference in how much more relaxed he is and enjoying himself. I think that first time last week, especially, he just really didn't know what he was in for. Now it's become a lot of fun to him. That's a good thing to watch. Yeah, I let the nerves settle out on that first game. Got, got good kicking in last week. Did a nice job, but you could tell the game went on kept getting a little mm-hmm. better. High formation for the Hornets. First and ten from the fifteen. O'Brien up under center, hand off to Vanetta, left hand side, swallowed up by the left or right hand side of the defense for the Indians. Albertini again getting off the stack as well as Carlson and Pullman, I believe. Pullman and Hutcherson, I thought did a doggone decent job at defensive ends last week. Colin Carlson, Kobe Spielbush, a little different look here tonight. Well, I guess not really. Bourne, Pekka, and Albertini all in at D-backs. As we talked about a little bit last week, the defense in eight-man football has changed a little bit because all the spread that everybody has kind of went to or a lot of, so you have to go to a a three D-back set instead of uh, three linebackers. Pitch to the right-hand side of Vanetti, tries to cut back to his left and does. Got a little bit of room out there, Bourne. Guys have spin away from Bourne, and he's going to good hustle pursuit, but he's going to get up with positive yards on the reverse, or not the reverse, but the re- reverse of direction. Getting up with a third yard, uh, three yard gain on the play, going to bring up third down and seven. Five, it'll be third and seven for the Hornets. Four eighteen left to go in the first. Twenty four to nothing is the Indian lead. O'Brien comes in from the sideline with the play from Bradshaw. Big third down and seven for the Indians' defense. Good job by Bourne to stay in containment out there on that left side and wait for some help to get Vanetta to the ground. High formation, O'Brien up under center. Here's a snap, handoff to Vanetta. Vanetta looking for room, nowhere to go. And he's going to lose all that yardage that he gained. Absolutely nowhere to go. That time, Pullman in on the tackle as well as Carlson. A loss of looks like about one on the play. They're going to call a yard and a half. Fourth down and call it a long eight. Fourth and eight. eight. Going to put the Hornets in punting situation. Back deep again is Albertini. And the Indians hold Hornets again. Good snap. Good punt this time. Albertini just let it go. Nobody back that time. It's going to roll clear down. To the Indian 10 yard line. It's a nice flop of field position for the Hornets that time. Yeah, they did a good job getting that kick away, and it was a good kick. The Indians start deep in their own territory this time. The Hornets has only been beyond the 20 yard line on one of their drives tonight. Started at the 15 with the touchbacks by Alejandro Monte. For the Indians, a good kicking by him. That time, Albertini or, or Coach Watcher brought Albertini up, didn't even have him back deep. And it was a nice kick, driving kick. Got a good roll, clear down the 10 yard line. So, what would that have been, Mike? Quite a way. 55 yard punt <laughs> by Shatopa. You were stat manager. I know, but I was right in the stats down. I wasn't here listening comes to Pullman you. off the field. The They're going to call a timeout. I got too many guys. Pullman's trying to figure out where he's supposed to be at. Because then, where? That guy's in my spot. <laughs> timeout by the Indians. So, we're going to go ahead and take a timeout. We'll take a 30 second timeout. This is St. Paul Indian football on Hot 105. Prairie Mission Retirement Village in St. Paul provides services to people in their retirement years. Prairie Mission meets a wide range of needs from health care to assisted living and independent living apartments to elderly daycare services, including transportation. With our 7 to 7 dining, residents get up when they desire, eat when and what they want, and continue to live a full and happy life. Your family deserves the best in retirement care, so give Prairie Mission Retirement Village a call today for more information at 620-449-2400 or visit them at 242 Carroll Street in St. Paul. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. We have time out that time brought to you by the St. Paul Market here in St. Paul, Kansas. Brendan Doherty splits wide to the left. Shotgun formation. Brendan Doherty set to his right side this time is Albertini. There, Hatcherson up 
Motion from left to right is Doherty. Hand off to Albertini. He's got some room. How off the left side he goes. It's going to be a lot of yards for Albertini. He goes again. I don't like off to get him. the races. Oh, my goodness. What an offensive night for uh, Albertini. <laughs> uh, the line of scrimmage was a 10-yard line, so that's going to be a 70-yard run by Adam Albertini and puts him well over 100 yards tonight. I don't think anybody else is. Except for he's point. the only one that's carried the ball other than their pass. And the pass to Doherty was a 28-yard touchdown run. So I got a feeling you're going to see some of these younger kids get some time pretty quick. Keaton Kennedy comes into the ball game for Albertini. Keaton Kennedy looked good last week too. Yeah, he so did. Look for him to get some carries tonight. Keaton just a junior, so and Adam just a sophomore, brave and born. Senior in the shotgun, split wide to the right is Doherty. Keaton Kennedy set to his left. Hand off to Kennedy. Almost dropped it. Uh-oh, this time it's going to make it. He did yep. make it into the end zone. It was a little tougher run for Kennedy, but he Murray leaned in there. I think he kind of fumbled it. Uh, didn't get a good handle on the handoff. So 244 left to go in the first, 32 to nothing. The ends remain perfect on their points for the season. On Pretty good offensive night for Adam Albertini tonight, Mike. Yeah, big night for Adam tonight. My goodness, what's that putting? Hundred and oh, it's going to put him in the back. yards. It's got to be getting close. Yep, almost 150 yards, right under. 150 yards rushing in the first almost three carries. Three carries. That's, <laughs> that's a pretty a, good average. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good <laughs> stat line right there. Sure boy. is. Uh, for anybody. Now last week wasn't near that. That's why they call it an average, I guess. Right. Now the Indians huddle up as Alejandro waits for the football, and Chitopa's huddled up. Kickoff sponsor tonight, Styles Fitness more. Want to make sure everybody knows, let go over what's going on here in town, but next week's game has been moved from 7 o'clock to 6 o'clock. It was scheduled for 7, and it is 7 on your programs, or if you have a school schedule or you look at the school website, that game has been changed to 6 p.m. start because due to the drive of Frankfurt, for coming a long ways. Goodness, what was that, Mike? That's not oh, too far about, from the Nebraska yeah, line. Yeah, about four hours or better, I think, up there. <laughs> a good little road trip for them. We'll go ahead and go over tonight. A lot of stuff going on this week with the school. School is well underway now, off to a blazing hot start. We'll have uh, Mr. Bagshaw, St. Paul principal, on here at halftime. Go over with Mike, everything that's going on, exciting with the school. Alejandro has the ball teed up. See if he can go five for five on touchbacks. Drive and kick. This time, take it on the fly. At about the one-yard line. Off to the left he goes. Going to be ripped down. At just about the same result, though, right at the 15. Reeves with the return for the Hornets. He's going to be by number 20, Tyler's brothers. First and 10. For the Hornets from their own 15. So, same result as a touchback on that time. Reeves got him 15, well, we'll call 13 yard return. Yeah, he had a chance to make something happen there. Just wasn't quite able to get that thing to pop outside, break open for him. Keaton Kennedy in there, linebacker for the Indians, as well as Easton Dent, a nose guard, and Kenny Haney. He looked good at defensive end yes, last week. Long and lanky out here at the left defensive end. I formation, O'Brien up under center. Here comes the snap. O'Brien on a little reverse, a little end around to the tight end. Wolf, he tried to drive the pile forward. He's going to have some positive yards. Good hard run by Wolf. Keaton Kennedy, Carlson, Hunter Pullman. Number one, Zach Wolf. All in there. He's going to call it a three yard. Three, it'll be second and seven for Sakopa. Cherry. For Wolf, call it. We're going to call second and eight. We're going to give him two yards on the carry. O'Brien comes to the sideline, 215 to first, 32 to nothing, Indians lead. O'Brien comes up to the line of scrimmage. Cabri at fullback, Vanetta at tailback. O'Brien waiting for the count. Count is on. Hand off to Cabri, left hand side. He's got a little bit of room pushing that pile forward. He's going to have positive yards. He's going to gain about three more. We're going to call it third down and five. Ball up to the 20 yard line. For the Hornets. Cabri, Cabri's pretty good size running back. Running kind of straight up and down there. I think if he put his shoulders down, he'd be a load to handle coming up through that line. Yeah, we don't have weights for Chitopa. 
Capri. He's got to be 200 pounds or close to it. I bet Capri you. is a junior. Yeah, he's a nice size fullback. High formation. O'Brien up under center, third and five for the Indian defense here. See what Coach Bradshaw dials up here on a third and five. Here's a snap. Left side, Cabri, fullback dive. He's going to be stacked up after he crosses for maybe a two-yard gain. He's going to bring up fourth down and call it two. Ball sets at 23-yard line. Lane Cabri on the carry again. He's going to pick up two. It'll be fourth and two for Chautauqua. Fourth and two for Chautauqua. Just under a minute to go in the first quarter. See what Coach Bradshaw likes to do on a fourth and two from their own 22. As O'Brien is on the sideline with Coach Bradshaw. I don't think they can run the clock out, so they yeah, have to get a play. play. <laughs> they act like they're going to come up the line of scrimmage and go for it here on a fourth and two. And they are lining up to go for it. The count is on, so if they don't hurry up and get the snap off, they're just going to take a, You'll take the take a timeout. timeout. So with that timeout, we'll take a one-minute timeout. You're listening to Indian Football on Hot 105. Exchange Insurance Agency is a proud supporter of the St. Paul Indians. Give us a call, visit our website, or stop in to let us do the comparison shopping for you and get a free no-obligation quote. Offering all types of insurance, including auto, motorcycle, home, farm, crop, watercraft, life, and health. Medicare supplements, and all lines of commercial or business insurance. Serving the four-state area since 1964, Exchange Insurance in St. Paul is here to provide you with what you need, want, and should expect from your insurance agency. St. Paul Tire and Lube, locally owned and operated, offers the small town convenience you love without the big city prices. They offer free pickup and drop off in St. Paul, so you're not left stranded while your vehicle is in the shop. They offer tire repair and also offer oil change and new tires. When you find yourself in need of new tires or an oil change and need to keep going, visit with St. Paul Tire and Lube, 620-449-2323. St. Paul Tire and Lube, proud supporters of the St. Paul Indians. Let's get back to the game on your home. Whoops, they're going to have to wait. Fourth and two for the Hornets as they go for it on fourth down. Whistles blow, and I believe it'll be close. I think they got the first down. They did get the first down, so first and ten on the fullback dive off the left side. Cabri bulls his way for a two-yard gain for a first down. 13 seconds left to go in the first quarter, 32 to nothing. Indians lead just the second first down of the game for the Hornets, so good job by them. Mustering up that two-yard gain for a first down, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter. At the end of one, our score is 32-0. to zero. We'll be back after this one-minute timeout. You're with St. Paul Indian football and Hot 105. The Indians lead. Farmers Bank is a full-service bank with small-town personal attention. They know you by name and are always glad to help you out. Offering 24-hour ATM and free banking locations in St. Paul, Walnut, and Hepler, Farmers Bank, member FDIC, is proud to help support the success that a small community can achieve with teamwork and determination. Richie's Drug Store in Erie has been serving the area since 1883 with a strong belief in providing customized care and doing more than just filling prescriptions. Pharmacist Morgan Bunton is now taking appointments for free consultations and sign-up assistance for Medicare Supplement Part D plans that fit your needs. Open enrollment begins October 15th and ends December 7th. Even if you're in a current plan, let Richie's help you determine if there's a better plan to cover your unique needs and prescriptions. Call, click, or stop by Richie's today. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports, Hot 105. After one quarter, Indians out to a good lead, 32 to nothing. Want to thank our timeout sponsor, the St. Paul Market there in St. Paul, Kansas, our title sponsor, Farmers Bank. Want to help go and thank everybody at Farmers, Joe, Josh, and all the clan up at Farmers Bank, St. Paul, Stork, and Walnut for being the title sponsor for the Indians this year. Our pregame sponsor is Richie Drugstore in Erie, Kansas. Kyle Morgan Button. Go visit Morgan for all your pharmacy needs. First down and 10. Chautauqua with a much-needed first down. A good hard run by Cabri. Now right in front of us here. Mike, so we'll get a good view. First and 10 from the 25 from the Hornets. O'Brien up under center. And off left side, Cabri 
and he's going to have some positive yards as he pulls his way forward for a nice five, six-yard gain on the play. Yeah, it was a good run by Carey that time. Opened up a little bit of hole there in the middle. Call it second down and five. East and Dent in there at nose guard. Haney at left defensive end. Pullman at right defensive end. Keaton Haney at left linebacker. Kobe Kenny Spiel- Haney. Or Kenny, what did I say? <laughs> Keaton. Keaton Kennedy at linebacker. Kobe Spielbush, right linebacker. And Adam Albertini, Caleb Pecka, and Raven Bourne. In at D back. I formation set for the Hornets. Here's a snap, almost a fumble snap this time. You keep an option to the right. A lot of running room for Vanetta. Had some room to roam out there. He's going to have a 20 across the 40 down to 30 yard line, I think. Or D backs all fell asleep back yep, there. Got them napping. Watching the linebackers making all the tackles. They got three D backs back there and they all kind of fell asleep, and they ran the option to the left hand side. And did a good or right hand side. Did a good job of it. Gets clear down to the 32 yard line. Is a horn. About 18 yards on that play. Uh, games like this, the defense kind of starts falling yep, asleep. Can't go to sleep. You have to kind of hold your hands on your hip, just ho humming their way through it. They need to spout up here on defense. O'Brien up under center, I formation. Then an L tailback, Cabri at fullback. This time Cabri off the right hand side. Rolls up in there for a nice four-yard gain. Kobe Spubush gets off the bottom of the stack as Albertini comes back into the game for the Indians. Second down and six for the Hornets. The ball now sets in Indian territory at the 29-yard line. So the Hornets getting some offense going here. Hornets back up to the line of scrimmage. I formation, O'Brien up under center, second down and six, 10.36 left to go in a second. Option, or a handoff to the left side, Cabri. Going to be a short gain on the play this time, a gain of one. It's going to bring up third down and call a four. Lane Cabri on the carry again. Cabri getting the big load for running the ball for Chautauqua tonight. Third down and five. For the Hornets, the ball set at the 26, 27 yard line. 10:06 left to go in the second quarter. Shatopa getting a little bit their offense going here a little bit on a good option run to the right side to Vanetta a little bit ago. O'Brien up in the center, Cabri at fullback, Vanetta at tailback. O'Brien with the snap on the third and five, left hand side fullback dive again. This time Cabri going to be wrapped up, nowhere to go. Hard to believe how much difference that Anthony Albertini, the old state nose guard in there, <laughs> yeah. makes a difference. And to have a little luck running in there, the younger players in there for the Indians, but the last two plays, nowhere to go on that fullback dive. And the, uh, Anthony, big, strong, work hard in the weight room. Did a good job in there, nose guard. That's a dirty job down yeah. there, nose guard. Fourth down and five. In Indians territory, so the Hornets will go for it. So look for that option again, Mike. See if the D-backs scoot up a little bit, or maybe a little play-action pass to the tight end. Here's a snap, back to pass. O'Brien, a little pressure, got a man out there. He's going, oh, almost reels it in with Wolf, but the ball's incomplete. So the Indians will hold on defense. It'll be first and 10 for the Indians. They take over on downs. The ball sits at the 27-yard line, 8.58 left to go in the first half. Please, the Indians will take over on downs. Indians lead 32 to nothing. Born getting the play from Coach Bradshaw. Triangular play here at St. Paul starting See who we got in here on offense. Junior varsity volleyball. It's like Colin Carlson. Let's see up there. Is he playing tight end? Doherty splits wide to the left. Single back set. Albertini set to the right side of Bourne in the shotgun. Motion from left to right. This time a little pitch to Doherty. Tries to get around the outside. O'Brien's got him wrapped up, and he's down after about a six-yard gain. Good tackle. One-on-one tackle by O'Brien on the end around to Doherty. Number five, Brendan Doherty. Bring up second down and three for the Indians. Ball now up to O'Brien. Gain of seven will be second and three for the Indians. The 33-yard line. Warren comes back in from the sideline with the play. Second down and three. Ball sets at the 33. Something a little different from Doherty there. Getting a chance to run the ball from scrimmage on that little end-around play. 
first play of the Indians. I think it's his first second down play for the Indians. It, it is, is. yeah. Oh, so the incomplete pass to Pekka. So, right. Excuse me, Keaton Kennedy. And now Keaton Kennedy with the ball's got some room on the left-hand side. Good cut. One man to beat. O'Brien, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Keaton Kennedy. Nice cut in the middle of the field. Got Kennedy around the Hornet. 47 yards. And then it was just a foot race between him and O'Brien, and he turned the Jets on and got by him. 45, 47-yard run for Keaton Kennedy. A nice run off the left-hand side. Extra point pinning takes the score out to 38 to nothing. 8.05 left to go in the second quarter. Extra point pending. Hutcherson up over the football. Albertini, right guard. Spielbush, left guard. A little different set here. Two slot receivers to right. Bourne rolls out to his right. Chucks it to Doherty. Wide open. Extra point. Good. 40 to nothing. 8.05 left to go in the second quarter. We'll be back after this 30 second timeout. You're with St. Paul Indian football on Hot 105. The Exchange State Bank is proud to be a member of the St. Paul community. The Exchange State Bank has served the area since 1914 and is committed to go the distance for you. A full-service bank, they offer savings, checking accounts, loan certificates of deposit, and more. They also offer competitive rates on loans and investments, all while giving you the kind of personal service you won't find at bigger institutions. Visit with Bob Conifer at Exchange State Bank in St. Paul, member FDIC, proud sponsor of the St. Paul Indians. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. Welcome back to Miles Field in St. Paul, Kansas. Indians off to a 40 nothing lead. 8.05 left to go. Our kickoff sponsor styles fitness and more as Alejandro set the tee the ball up. Last time he didn't quite get it to the end zone for a touchback. Let's see what Alejandro can do here, Mike. Yeah, we'll see if he's be able to kick it to the east as far as he was kicking it to the west here. Stoker gets their kickoff return set up. Well, this week, Monday, September the 11th, junior high volleyball triangular at St. Paul, 5 p.m. start time. High school JV quad at northeast of Arma, 5 p.m. start time. Alejandro's got the ball teed up, and here comes the kick. Driving kick this time, no doubt about that one. It's going to almost carry into the center towards the back part of the end zone. Sure did. He got all of that one for sure. He got his foot into that one. Also, Tuesday, September the 12th, high school volleyball triangular at St. Paul. So make sure you go to Billy Fager Phil House uh, Tuesday at 5 p.m. start time. Thursday, September 14th, high school cross country at Parsons, 4 p.m. start time. High school volleyball triangular at Neota Shea, 6 p.m. start time. Also Thursday, September 14th. And again, Friday, September 15th, the football game has been moved from 7 o'clock on the schedule to 6 p.m. start time due to the travel time by Frankfurt. We got in their nose guard now. We got one of Bradshaw never, boys. Yeah, Chase Bradshaw. Five. Chase Bradshaw. We'll go over some new numbers. We got the JV defense in here. Here's the snap. O'Brien with the ball coming from the backside. Kenny Haney. And there you. Kenny Haney. East of deck. Come up with a hard hit as well as Chase Bradshaw gets in on that. He's going to bring a second down. And ten is O'Brien trying to find some running room off the left side. So we got. No game on the play. Bring up Easton Dent playing linebacker. We got both Bradshaw boys in there. Ch- Chandler's playing the right defensive end, and Chase is playing the nose guard position. Kenny Haney at left defensive end. Braven Bourne still in at deep back. Easton Dent right linebacker. Keith Kennedy left linebacker. Pekka and Adam Albertini all both back in the three D back set. O'Brien up under center. Cabri at fullback. Vanetta at tailback. Nope, oh, nobody there. O'Brien yeah. looking to the option on the right side. Nobody was home, and he was reading that defensive end, just kept waiting and waiting and waiting, and then uh, finally got swallowed up by the Indians there. You no, know, that hasn't been a bad feeling because we could, we could both see he stuck that ball out there waiting for the running back to come up take that hand off. That's what never got to because he went to the other direction. <laughs> and he was just – had that ball stuck out there for the longest time, and finally Haney got around and got some pressure on him. Going to bring up a third down and eat 11. I was surprised that Coach – Bradshaw didn't go back to that fullback dive mm-hmm. by Cabri yeah. with the 
Different nose guard, different defense for the Indians in there. Third down and call 11, I formation. Cabri at fullback, Vanetta at tailback. O'Brien, this time right-hand option to the right. Cabri with some running room. Host the Indians come up and finally get him down. Ball comes out late. And Thank the whistle blew. <laughs> whistle blows now. It's going to bring up a fourth down and four as Cabri with a hard run gets across the 20 to about the 20 and a half yard line. Six twenty six left to go in the game, forty to nothing, and ends lead. <laughs> Cabri did a good job really carrying the whole pack with him that time on his back. If the deep back scoot up a little bit, so I think Coach Bradshaw's gonna go for it here. Right. And I wouldn't be surprised if it ain't Cabri off one side or the other here. Linebackers need to scoot up. I'm pretty sure they're gonna run a full back dive here. Option Oh man, O'Brien runs into Cabri but gets Tackled by his own man. Holy smoke, that's a pretty good hit. Right. <laughs> Cabri hit O'Brien. Andrew O'Brien's going to be tackled in the back. No gain on the play. That'll be a turnover on down for the Indians. I think uh, O'Brien's a little shook up on Yeah, he's got the bell rung by his own guy. Cabri, a big kid, is O'Brien trying to readjust everything there. Turnover on downs is going to be excellent field position for the Indians. First and 10 from their own 18 yard line. Next Friday, the high school varsity football will hold. Frankfurt here at St. Paul. Not much to say here, Mike. No, there's not a lot we can say. St. Paul is just rolling, and Chautauqua can't do much to stop them right now. And it's just one of those things. Sometimes you're the windshield, and sometimes you're the bug. It's the way it works. Last year was a polar – or last year. Last week was a polar opposite. It was an excellent game, a full game. Indians – that was a good playing-in-shape ball game last week because that was uh, – uh, tonight it's going to be the polar opposite, it yeah. appears. <laughs> All kinds of confusion by the Indians' offense. They try to get subs in. Now it's going to be a delay of game. They didn't even get a playoff. <laughs> first of 15. Yeah, Coach Watrick's trying to get some younger kids in there to play and moving people around. He's trying to go time. over that lineup as they go up to the line of scrimmage. You could help me out. I see Easton Dent, Keaton Kennedy, Braven Bourne still going to call those. Who's up there at center? Number 61, Mike, is... Ethan Stone King goes in at center. Left guard is number 64. It's even Murillo. Dive off the right-hand side. That's going to be the young Struthers, Tyler Struthers. He's going to gain about five on the play. Good first down carry by Struthers. Catch the fullback number. Mike, we need to try to catch who's in there at fullback. Number 24, I believe, for the Indians is Justin Struthers. Both Struthers boys in the backfield. Yeah, the backfield full of Struthers. Backfield full of Struthers. This time, Justin Struthers in the fullback position. Tyler Struthers at tailback. Raven Bourne up under center. Here's a snap. Again, hand off Tyler Struthers. Left-hand side. Got some run room. Cuts to the middle field. Now he's got room to the right. Five. Touchdown, St. Paul. Number 20, Tyler Struthers on the carry. He's going to get in. Who else is in there? Ethan Stone King was in there as well as both Struthers boys. 64, 34, Easton Dent. Evan Murillo was a guard, so JV set up there. Number 60 was in there. Chandler Bradshaw, I believe he was the other guard. Extra point pending here. See if the Indians can stay perfect on the year for extra points. I'll bet you this book. Oh, we got number three in there. Hayden Smith in there, tailback. Gonna get. Here comes the snap. Pitch to Hayden Smith. Around the right hand side he goes. Trying to get the end zone to the pylon he goes. Extra point is good. Number three, Hayden Smith on the well, Hayden Smith's getting long and lanky too, isn't he? Mike? Yeah, he is. He played some last week there towards the end of the game. Did a pretty good job. We'll be back after this 30 second timeout. Let's St. Paul football on Hot 105. Jerry and Kevin Winter, along with the entire crew at KW Trucking, are proud to bring you this broadcast of the St. Paul Indians. KW Trucking specializes in heavy equipment and heavy truck repair, late model rebuilding, and body work from large trucks down to cars. They also have a full-service machine shop and a great selection of both used cars and trucks. See Jerry or Kevin at KW Trucking or call 449-2763. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. Welcome back to Miles Field here in St. Paul. Dan Vid alongside Mike McCracken. Glad to bring you St. Paul football here under the lights. Miles Field, hope first home game. And quite honestly, it's not 
the best game in the world right now. 48 to nothing. Indians out to a rock and hot start. Give me that stat again. You told me during timeout, Mike. I said St. Paul's run nine plays so far in the game. Nine plays and the and score. Got 48 points. <laughs> got 48 points. That's not, still a pretty good stat. Nice, high, drive and kick. Gonna be, goes into the end zone for a touchback. Alejandro is. Five, four, six for touchbacks. So we'll see if the Indians get, they are going to get some young players in yep. here. That's good. So we'll see if the Indians defense can stiffen up here as Caleb Pecka stays in the game. But I see Tyler Struthers, Easton Dent, Hayden Smith, Kenny Haney, Keaton Kennedy, and both the Bradshaw boys, Chandler and Chase Bradshaw, one at nose guard and one at defensive end. Yeah, that's a good opportunity for these young kids to get in there and play some varsity ball and get some time. That way it's not such a big surprise to them. They get in there in a big game later on in the season. High formation for the Hornets. O'Brien up under center. Cabri at fullback. Vanetta at tailback. This time it's going to be Vanetta, and he's going to have some room to run as the Indies had some contact. It's going to be a nice four-yard game for Vanetta from the 15 up to the 19-yard line. And call it second down, second down and six five oh one left to go in the first quarter. As Justin Struthers comes in at free safety for Caleb Pecka. So second string defense, a lot of playing time for the young kids. That's good. Get them in here in a varsity ball game. Get some varsity time. O'Brien in up under center. Cabri at fullback, Vanetta at tailback. Here's the snap. Pitch out to Vanetta, trying to find some around the right side. Cuts back to the middle, driving his feet. Got one almost got away. Just about Just broke it loose. There's Tyler Struthers finally wrapped him up. It's going to be after a seven yard gain. Good for a Hornet first down across the 25 to the 26 yard line. And he's had him bottled up but failed to wrap up. And he scored it away and cut back to the middle field. Almost broke away for a Hornet touchdown. First down and 10. Ball sets at the 26-yard line. 4-17 left to go here in the first half. 48 to nothing. Indians lead. O'Brien up under center. Cabri at fullback. Pitch to Vanette again off the right side. Cuts back to the middle. This time going to be hit by Haney and Bradshaw. A lot better defense. Easton Dent in on that tackle. As Kenny Haney comes up off the bottom of the stack, comes from that left defensive end position. Did a good job of turning that play in, and then Bradshaw on the right defensive end position, as well as Chase and Chandler's nose guard, got in on that second down and nine for the Hornets. He kind of got Vanetta bent over backwards a little bit and stretched him out pretty good, I think, on that play. <laughs> My money's on Cabry getting the football yeah, on a Bob. dive here with 3.32 left to go in the first half, 48 to nothing, Indians lead. O'Brien up under center. Cabry at fullback, or new tailback in there. Nope, it's going to pitch to the right-hand side. Oh, Keaton Kennedy almost up or nice. One-on-one tackle by Kenny, or no, excuse me. Yeah, that is Kenny, Kenny Haney. Haney. Yep, but Kenny Haney, Haney from the, the left back. defensive present, end position. Pitch to Reeves, trying to get around the right side that time. Nowhere to go. Haney made a nice Lost tackle on him. Third down 11. A loss of one, third down and 11. Third and long here for Chautauqua. It would be a good chance for these young St. Paul guys on defense to really make a nice defensive stand here and stop this, get the ball back. Third down and 11 for the Hornets. High formation. This time, Vanetta and Rees both in. Vanetta at fullback. Oh, busted play. O'Brien goes around the right side. Vanetta went to that side, but no one didn't really get the option into his belly, and O'Brien had to keep it. It's going to bring it fourth down 11. I'll call it fourth down at 10. He gained one, got back up past the line of scrimmage. 221 left on the first half. 48 to nothing. Indians lead. See if Chitopa can get off another punt like they did the last time. Chitopa in punt formation. Nobody back, Nobody back deep for the Indians. Chitopa. Back in punt formation is Appleton for Chitopa. Good snap. And a nice spiral drive and punt by Appleton. That's going to bounce about the 12 yard line inside the 15. Almost down the 10-yard line, so that's been a bright spot for Chautauqua. Nice flip of field position again. Nobody back deep for the Indians, which obviously no return, but 
his net yardage is pretty good. Yeah, doing a pretty good job punting back there. Looks like JV squad's going to come in on offense as Adam Albertini is going to get to play from Coach Watcher. Pretty quiet night. Mike, we got to start, just in case here, 148 left to go in the game. we got to start thinking of the player of the game. I'm Mike. way ahead of you. I've already been thinking of one. I, got some I bet in you mind, we got the same one in surprise. mind. I bet you it is a big I surprise. Know. I might surprise you. It's kind of a we could pick a defensive player, though, but it's kind of processed. Not very many choose from on offense. No. <laughs> there's, there's one that's, that's scored about every time he's touched the ball. Adam Albertini up under center. Option to the right. It's going to be Justin Struthers with the carry off the right-hand side. A little bit of room to run. He gets up to It's like about a three-yard game. You can't tell exactly where he's at. He's going to be close to the 15. Yard line. One thirty-one left to go in the first half. Forty-eight to nothing. Indians lead. Taking her time, Albertini hustles back in with the play from Coach Watrick. One seventeen left to go in this first half, and forty-five point mercy rule, folks. The game will be over here at halftime unless you can get a score on the board. This time. Hand off to the left-hand side, running hard. He's going to be close to a first down, and that is going to be Justin Struthers again with the carry. 24, 59 the seconds carry. left to go in the first half. Looks like it's going, four, it's going to be a first down for the Indians, first and 10 for the Indians. Nice run by Struthers. Under Both. a minute to go here. Both of them Struthers boys got some speed if they can get yeah, up they do. the edge. Turn the gas on. School to try to get the offensive players here. Mike, I think that's Ethan Stone King coming up over the football. Easton Dent's the right guard. See that number? Who's the right tight end, Mike? I formation. Hand off to Struthers again. Oh, he almost scored it away and got ankle tackled it right at the last minute. It'd be a nice gain on the plate. Just a little over 30 seconds as Hayden Smith comes into the game for Tyler Struthers. Pick up of nine, it'll be second one for the Indians. I believe. Kenny Haney's in there at tight end. Chandler Bradshaw is in there at right tight end. Who's a left guard, Mike? Four. Four is even Murillo. Yes, even Murillo. Hayden Smith carries the ball. Left-hand side. Cuts to the middle. Tries to spin away. He's going to have a first down. He's going to be up to midfield. That's going to be... Well, that, that's going to be the first half, and that's going to be the ball game, folks. Halftime score, which will be your final score, is 48-0. to zero. Indians with a impressive second game of the season, and that will be your ball game. We'll come back after this two-minute timeout. We'll have our halftime sponsor, our post-game sponsor, our player of the game sponsor. We've got a lot to go over here, Mike. Mike adding up his stats. We'll be back after this two-minute timeout. You're listening to St. Paul Indian Football on Hot 105. Prairie Mission Retirement Village in St. Paul provides services to people in their retirement years. Prairie Mission meets a wide range of needs from health care to assisted living and independent living apartments to elderly daycare services, including transportation. With our 7 to 7 dining, residents get up when they desire, eat when and what they want, and continue to live a full and happy life. Your family deserves the best in retirement care, so give Prairie Mission Retirement Village a call today for more information at 620-449-2400 or visit them at 242 Carroll Street in St. Paul. Exchange Insurance Agency is a proud supporter of the St. Paul Indians. Give us a call, visit our website, or stop in to let us do the comparison shopping for you and get a free no-obligation quote. Offering all types of insurance, including auto, motorcycle, home, farm, crop, watercraft, life, and health. Medicare supplements, and all lines of commercial or business insurance. Serving the four-state area since 1964, Exchange Insurance in St. Paul is here to provide you with what you need, want, and should expect from your insurance agency. St. Paul Tire & Lube, locally owned and operated, offers the small town convenience you love without the big city prices. They offer free pickup and drop off in St. Paul, so you're not left stranded while your vehicle is in the shop. They offer tire repair and also offer oil change and new tires. When you find yourself in need of new tires or an oil change and need to keep going, visit with St. Paul Tire & Lube, 620-449-2323. St. Paul Tire & Lube, proud supporters of the St. Paul Indians.
Farmers Bank is a full service bank with small town personal attention. They know you by name and are always glad to help you out. Offering 24 hour ATM and free banking locations in St. Paul, Walnut, and Hepler, Farmers Bank, member FDIC, is proud to help support the success that a small community can achieve with teamwork and determination. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports Hot 105. Well, welcome back here to Miles Field. Dan Vid alongside Mike McCracken bringing you tonight's game. The game is over here at halftime. Mercy Rural St. Paul comes out victorious, 48 to nothing. Our halftime sponsor tonight, St. Paul Tire and Lube. I want to welcome them in. And some of our sponsors towards the end of the game is not going to get their money worth like their kickoff sponsor did. <laughs> well, right, Mike? No, but the, you know that's how it goes sometimes. So. Mike's got the stats. We're going to go over and go stats. We're have a full halftime sponsorship here because we're going to get Mr. Backshaw on here after we take a break and we'll um, do our sports game sponsor after our next break. So, Mike, what do you got for stats here tonight? Well, uh, don't have much for one side of the team, but or one side of the field, but for St. Paul, I'll go over the St. Paul stats and, and really for a first half, they're pretty impressive. Sometimes you don't get stats like this for an entire game, but St. Paul led on offense, obviously, by Adam Albertini with three rushing touchdowns, 144 yards total on Guess what? Three carries. So big night on the on the ground for Adam Albertini. Three carries for 144 yards and three touchdowns. Brendan Doherty had one rush for seven yards. Keaton Kennedy ran one time for 47 yards, but that counted for another St. Paul touchdown. And the same goes for Tyler Struthers. He had an 18-yard run and one touchdown. Uh, his brother Justin Struthers had three carries for 19 yards. And Hayden Smith, one carry for nine yards. On the passing side, Braven Bourne threw two, two passes. He was one for two had one completion for 28 yards. Guess what? Another St. Paul touchdown on that pass, and it was caught by Brendan Doherty, who had 28 yards receiving on one reception tonight for a touchdown. So a lot of offense, a lot of scoring for St. Paul. I got him at 315 total yards of offense in the first half, and the score ended up 48 to nothing. St. Paul scored early on on an Adam Albertini 45-yard run. Uh, the extra point was good. Uh, next play of the game on offense for St. Paul, Another Adam Albertini run for 29 yards in the score. This time the extra point was good on a pass from Braven Bourne to Kobe Spielbush. The next play, St. Paul had the ball again. Another touchdown, this time a pass from Braven Bourne to Brendan Doherty for 28 yards. Extra point was good. Adam Albertini had his third rushing touchdown of the game. with was 70-yard gain this time. Extra point was good by Keaton Kennedy. Brought the score to 32 to nothing. That was the scoring all in the first quarter. In the second quarter, St. Paul finished them off on a nice 47-yard run by Keaton Kennedy. Extra point was good. And then Tyler Struthers with an 18-yard run capped it off for St. Paul. Hayden Smith with the extra point run. All of St. Paul's extra points tonight were good. Did a real good job on offense with or on the kicking team with Alejandro putting it through the end zone all of the times except for once, and that was a short return. Really didn't gain him anything. So a lot of offense by St. Paul tonight. Good job by all the boys. Good job by the Indians offense and the Indians overall. Good job by the defense holding Chautauqua to very few yards on offense. Only really offense they got mustered up was when the JV squad was in there, but nevertheless, JV squad still held up there. So, good uh, show put on here tonight by the St. Paul Indians. Good game opener. Remember, next week's ball game has been moved from 7 o'clock, which was on the schedule, to 6 p.m. start because the travel time due to Frankfurt. I want to thank our halftime sponsor, St. Paul Tire and Lou, for that sponsorship during halftime. When we come back after this one-minute timeout, we'll have our sports game sponsor show with KW Trucking being our sponsor, and Mike will have Mr. Backshaw, St. Paul Principal, on here at for our post game show. I'll tell you what, Dan, before we do that, let's do the derail commodity player of the game and then we'll finish up with the post game show. So. I have I have Adam Albertini for my I think I'm gonna be in there with you. A lot of offense by Adam Albertini. Every time he touched the ball almost he scored a touchdown, so you can't help but give Adam Albertini your derail commodity player of the game for tonight. I had a second thought, I almost gave it to the Saint Paul defense just to make the whole defensive player of the game for the way they shut Chatopa down, especially in the first quarter. But you can't deny how Adam Albertini took the game over himself, so he gets my vote, too. Uh, yeah, the option would be the offensive line. That's true. The offensive <laughs> that's that's pretty good hold run through every time, three carries. That's, yeah. that's a hard stat to pass up, so we're going to go ahead and go with Adam Albertini as our D-Rail Commodity play, Player of the Game. I want to thank them for being a sponsorship this year for our Player of the Game. We'll be back after this one-minute timeout with St. Paul Indian Football on Hot 105. 
Richie's Drugstore in Erie has been serving the area since 1883 with a strong belief in providing customized care and doing more than just filling prescriptions. Pharmacist Morgan Bunton is now taking appointments for free consultations and sign-up assistance for Medicare Supplement Part D plans that fit your needs. Open enrollment begins October 15th and ends December 7th. Even if you're in a current plan, let Richie's help you determine if there's a better plan to cover your unique needs and prescriptions. Call, click, or stop by Richie's today. The Exchange State Bank is proud to be a member of the St. Paul community. The Exchange State Bank has served the area since 1914 and is committed to go the distance for you. A full-service bank, they offer savings, checking accounts, loan certificates of deposit, and more. They also offer competitive rates on loans and investments, all while giving you the kind of personal service you won't find at bigger institutions. Visit with Bob Conifer at Exchange State Bank in St. Paul, member FDIC, proud sponsor of the St. Paul Indians. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports, Hot 105. Welcome back to Miles Field here in St. Paul, Kansas, where tonight the St. Paul Indians come out of here with a 48 to nothing victory over inter-district rivals, the Chautauqua Hornets. Here we are on the... KW Trucking Post Game Show, and our guest today on the KW Trucking Post Game Show is Mr. Craig Bagshaw. He's the St. Paul High School principal. So, Mr. Bagshaw, we had a pretty good game here tonight. A good cookoff has shortened up a little bit, but a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, it was very exciting. Uh, it was also exciting to see, you know, a lot of people from both communities and uh, practice just a lot of good fellowship. Uh, amongst the two schools. Yeah, it's always a good time. We go down there and they cook, and we come up here and, and we cook, and then both both places get to cook for all the boys. They'll have a, at least something to eat here after a tough ball game here and, and a short ball game, but I'm sure they're all hungry. The high school boys always are. I think they probably are going to get about 100 hamburgers between <laughs> a lot of them. So yeah. They go away hungry. It's that's right. It's, it's always a fun time cooking for them, and, and it's nice for the school district to provide that. So let's talk a little bit about things going on at the school here real quick. The year's off and running to a start. Here we are in the, what are we in the third week of school now. Third, and so third week. third week of school, a lot of things going on. Tell us what's going on this year at St. Paul High School. Well, of course, there's always changes, different things occurring. But uh, one big push we've had this year is uh, oh, jumping into some more distant uh, learning opportunities. We're teaching um, – uh, with some Zoom technologies, teaching business and career life planning and uh, physics, you know, through uh, some distance uh, technology. So uh, offering more community or more, uh, oh, course offerings are hard course, you know, when you're limited in size right. and, and staff. So we're trying to take advantage of the technology and get our kids involved in uh, some different electives so that they have uh, – few more choices to be engaged. Right, and I think that's one of the things a lot of the kids appreciate. I know a lot of the parents appreciate the opportunities that you're able to give. And like you said, sometimes with a smaller school, it seems like you're a little bit limited. But with the advent of technology and a lot of these distance learning chances that you have for different classes, it opens some doors that, uh, you know, five or six years ago you weren't able to get those type of things here. Yeah, um, and, of course, you know, you got a staff that's willing to go, you know, above and beyond, do a few extra things and, you know, learn more kids' names off another campus and uh, travel down to Chautauqua intermittently and, and be physically with the class. Um, so it's, again, it's about building relationships and, um, you know, those students down there feel connected to the teacher that's actually here most of the day. Right, and that's another good point. You know, we have a really good staff on both campuses. Chautauqua's got a lot of really good teachers down there. And St. Paul, the same up here, and that's a nice thing about uh, one of the things about being a joint district with someone like Chautauqua, we're able to share resources, and with both schools having such high-quality teachers, it really does a lot of good for the kids to have that much more opportunity to learn. Well, and of course, you know, you've got uh, opportunities for younger staff to come in and, you know, probably on another campus have a uh, a mentor that maybe has 25, 26 years of experience that uh, can be assistive. You know, it's kind of nice not to feel like you're out on an island right, yeah. and have a, have a resource person to yeah, you know to fall back on. So. Yeah, it's a it's a nice thing. Looks like things still going on out of here on the field. They're having the punt, pass, and kick contest with all these little kids, and they're having a good time finishing up over there. There's still a few hamburgers and hot dogs left for everybody as they leave. Maybe grab one on the way out the gate. But uh, uh, Mr. Bagshaw, we appreciate you being our halftime or actually our post game guest here on the KW Trucking Post Game Show, and we look forward to talking to you again sometime this season. Well, I appreciate you having me, and uh, both you and uh, Dan do a great job, and we appreciate. Uh, 
all you do for us. Well, we appreciate that. So that's the KW Trucking Post Game Show here on Hot 105. I want to thank all of our sponsors tonight for it all season long, uh, Farmers National Bank, the game sponsor for all the St. Paul football. We've got our sponsors that sponsors our timeouts, our halftime show, our post game show, and our player of the game. So we appreciate all their support, sponsorship. Signing off tonight for the last time. At 48 to nothing, St. Paul comes out of here on top of Chautauqua. For Dan Vitt, this is Mike McCracken. We'll talk to you next week where you remember changes start time for the Frankfurt game next week is 6 p.m., not 7 p.m. like it says on your schedule. So everyone be sure to come out to Miles Field at 6 o'clock cheer the Indians on against Frankfurt. And we will see you next week. You're listening to St. Paul Indian Football on Hot 105. Good evening, St. Paul Indian fans. It's time for Indian Football here on Hot 105. Tonight's game brought to you by Farmers Bank. With three locations to serve you in St. Paul, Walnut, and Hepler. Your pregame brought to you by Richie's Drugs. Your halftime brought to you by St. Paul Tire and Lube. And your postgame brought to you by K&W Trucking. Tonight's game also brought to you by Exchange State Bank, the Prairie Mission Retirement Village, and Exchange Insurance. Get ready for St. Paul Indian football with Dan and Mike on the call here on Hot 105.